from Amazon and I'm so annoyed because first of all, I had two day shipping. It took, I ordered this package June 20th. Today is July 7th. I'm so annoyed about that. I'm like, where the hell did this package come from? And it looks horrible. I would be very surprised if this package, it's a lamp. If this lamp isn't just tore up and broke. Let me show y'all this because I'm just so annoyed. First of all, it says fragile on it. Second of all, I was so annoyed because I, instead of shipping it here, I shipped it home. So I had to drive over there to pick this package up. Girl, I'm so aggravated. This thing, it, it literally sounds broken. It definitely came from China definitely came from China. And she looks like she came from China. Child, she looked like she has been through it. She looked like she has been through hell and back. I don't know if y'all can see this. It's like a mess. So this is a lamp. <sighs> okay, let me tell you before we get, we're gonna unpack it. So when it comes to my thought process, it was like, as soon as I walk in the door, I wanna be happy to be here. I want pieces that just, really fits my style. I want, in the living room, I'm really going for, if we're being honest, the vibe in the living room started off as the inspiration was Public Hotel in New York, my favorite hotel. I loved everything about it. When I was actually in New York, I purchased a diffuser, so it literally smells like Public Hotel in here. I love that hotel, but um, that was the vibe. And then it just started to take I don't know, it just started to change. That's why when I, I told myself when I was gonna be doing home decor in here, I would literally do one room at a time because every time I was out, if I'm in home goods or Target, I see so many things that I like and I'm like, oh my God, I need this, 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 and this. And I just wanted everything to be cohesive. So I literally did each room at a time. My bedroom is pretty much done, I just need a rug. The bathroom, she, girl, she was the first thing done, she's done. Now we're working on the front, the kitchen and the living room. In the living room, I'm actually loving how it's coming along. It's very neutral, it's very open, flowy, clean, and it's it just my aesthetic. Um, also, I did, I like, I'm getting a lot of questions, people asking me, am I gonna do the RH vibe? I feel like when it comes to the RH vibe, I don't need to do it, girl, it has completely been done. And I just feel like, the RH vibe, you can pick certain things from the RH vibe, the Restoration Hardware vibe, but I don't know, I just was, I'm kinda like overseeing that. So I just wanted something that's my own. And I feel like right now, it's screaming G, okay? But I think I'm rambling because I'm scared to open this package, but let's go ahead and open this girl. Because, oh, another thing, girl, I went through so many lamps, okay? All of the lamps, they just, they didn't give me like, Oh, that is so you, girl. You need it. And I'm going for like a clean, not slightly minimalistic, not really, but still like modern and mixed with a little farmhouse chic. And it's all coming together. But let's go move. We're gonna have to put this on the floor. Okay, let's see what she's giving. <laughs> Oh, y'all, I'm gonna be so hurt if this doesn't work because listen, I love this. This is the only lamp that I was like, oh my God. And it had this other one from Ikea, but I feel like this, the one from Ikea is all over TikTok and Instagram. This lamp, I haven't seen anybody with it. So I'm like, I really want this. Okay, okay. All right, so this is what the lamp looked like, girl. I'm so annoyed because all of this white stuff is gonna be all over the floor. But surprisingly, it doesn't look broken. It's literally very <laughs> minimalistic. I know y'all like, gee, what is it? I'm about to put this together. Well, we're about to put this together and then we're gonna, you're gonna see the vibe. You're gonna have to catch the vibe, hold on. All right, girl, so this is the lamp. How cute is she? I haven't turned it on yet, but if we've been honest, I was being a little dramatic once I learned kind of figure this out. It was so easy. It was like popping it together. So now I'm gonna sit you guys down and let's see if it worked. My love, so 
this is my little corner. <gasps> How cute. And I had to finesse my little vacuum because I wanted it to stay in this corner so it's kind of like out of the way. Not really an eyesore. I feel like it's perfect there and it just went perfect, girl. And it comes with a remote so you can turn it off. You can turn it on. You can also adjust the brightness. If you like white light, you can do white. And this is very, very warm. It is so nice. I like the warm lights because it matches my Kind of like the vibe, everything in here is like a neutral nude and the curtains here, they're like, I'm trying not to show y'all outside. Um, the curtains here, they're kind of like this oatmeal. Let me see. It's a linen textured oatmeal vibe. I'm gonna link these down below. These are from Amazon. I absolutely highly would recommend these. I love them and I have them floor length. I think I have these in a 96. Um, this was the same little vase from home. I got this from Home Goods years ago. It was blue glass. I spray painted this matte black. Got this little plant stain from Home Goods also a while back. And a pompous is from Amazon. I'm gonna also link that down below. Now, this is the fun part. I love crystals and things like that. So when I was in Home Goods, I saw these little pictures. Now, my goal is to have like, well, not really a goal my vibe i'll say is to have like little accents of brass and copper so this right here the trimming i don't know if you can see it let me turn the light off it is copper and these oh my god y'all these are actually crystals i forgot the name of them but these cleanse negative energy and it um also brings good vibes i have a whole paper on it it came with like paper basically i noticed that it cleans energy in a space and brings good and good energy positive energy all the things so i thought that was like perfect and these were 40 dollars at home goods but i think this little corner <laughs> i love it oh so good y'all right here over the couch i'm kind of like i don't know what i want to do but i have to do something that is a very very g so i'm like okay let's just hold off but there's going to be some type of artwork here or some type of custom artwork, something is gonna be there. But I just, right now, I'm loving this girl. If you need a lamp, babes, they also have another lamp that I'm getting from my bedroom. It's very similar to this. It's straight up and down, and you can put it like in a corner. I'm gonna do that in the bedroom because I don't want like the tra traditional lamps and stuff. And also, right here, I'm not gonna do a end table. I didn't wanna do any traditional end tables or anything, so I'm not gonna do end tables at all. I want it very open, very clean, and I love it. And I also don't want this little corner to be junky, so this is the corner. Oh my God. Guys, I have been crying. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I'm not gonna go into too, oh my God. Like right now, my heart is so full right now. Like, I have literally been crying. I'm just like, let me tell you something. When God says yes, there's nothing nobody can do. There's nothing nobody can say to, to get you out of his path. Oh my God, y'all. I can't go into too many details. I'm not gonna go into too many details, but let's just say this. God is working, he is showing up and he is blowing my mind for the past i'm gonna say for the since i moved since i made the move into the apartment i remember right before i moved god told me he was like i need you to prepare for a transition and anytime i'm transitioning into a new chapter of my life a new season i like to say a season for so long I was transitioning from seasons and he would always say I need you to transition into seasons but this time maybe a few months ago he said you're about to transition into another chapter so I, I you guys probably heard me talk about being afraid of turning 30 when God told me the new chapter he also told me it's going to require a different version of me you guys always hear me talk about the highest version of myself and 
the chapter that I am in now is literally requiring the highest version of myself. But the best part about this is I have been working on myself for so long, for so many years, endlessly not giving up on myself no matter how much I get tired how much I get frustrated not giving up on this this version of myself that got this vision that he gave of me it wasn't until I was sitting on that couch and I broke down because I literally saw the vision that he gave me of myself and I am literally walking that like, I'm like lost for words. And the best part about it is by me working so hard on myself, y'all, I don't have to put on, I don't have to try to be the highest version of myself. I just arrive as the highest version of myself because this is literally who I have become. And the call that I just got is just like, oh, it's happening. You said you wanted this, I'm gonna give it to you. But I'm not gonna give it to you on a small scale. I'm gonna give it to you to where it's gonna be bigger than you could ever imagine. And I always tell God, I give you permission to blow my mind. And I have to just, I have to say, he, child. I'm about to go cry, y'all. I'm about to go sit right back on that couch with my little lamp, and I'm about to go cry. Wow, I always pray that God put the right people in my life. And it's so crazy because when I started to pray that God put the right people in my life, he started removing people out of my life. So I looked around and there was nobody. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And right now I'm also in a season where I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have this huge community. The most that I connect with people is literally on the internet. I turned 30 last, yeah, I'm all over the place. I turned 30 last Thursday. And I felt like that was me really entering into this new chapter. He is literally, this past week, he's just been blowing my mind. From things that has happened at Essence Fest, now to this situation, I cannot wait to share with y'all what, what, what is going on. Because I'm like, are you, like, I wanted to be on that phone, like, are you sure, me? Like, are you sure? Are you positive? Do you know who you on the phone with? Like, Jeronica, me. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Okay, girl, I'm gonna go cry in peace, okay? Because I feel the cry coming on, honey. Get all praise and worship. Y'all remember I told y'all I ordered glasses. Oh, let me show you these glasses from IKEA, and they came broken. So IKEA resent me another pack. Let's see if these are broken because I have to have a little talky talk with the UPS man because child, when I saw him deliver my neighbor's package, girl, I think it's broken. Oh, this is so horrible. Oh, y'all. And I recommended these glasses to y'all. These glasses are beautiful if you can get them not, not broken. But when I saw him just throw my package, I say, well, dang, that's how you handle packages? What happened to TLC, Tender Love and Care? I'm like, dang. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. We might be in luck. Hold up. Okay, so these are the glasses. I love them. Like I said, I drank out these, what made me want these glasses when I was in um, New York. When I go to Soho House, Dumbo House, Soho the House, Dumbo House, whatever. They um serve Prosecco out of those glasses. So, let's see. Hopefully they are. <gasps> they're all there. <laughs> And you know what's so funny? I don't know why I need all these glasses. I literally, I'm one person, child. But whoever comes to my house, if you need water, you drinking out this glass, okay? You don't have to drink like a little bird, but if you need some orange juice, <laughs> you're drinking out this glass. I drink out this glass for anything. Kombucha, child, you're drinking out the glass, okay? So they're all, uh, oh, perfect. I would highly recommend them. They're just so fabulous, girl. I just wanted to give an update on the wall and how it's going. So each week, since this is exposed, each week on Saturday, I like to take everything off of the wall and I dust. I got this duster, which I absolutely love, from Home Goods. It's like the best. First of all, it's cute, fabulous, 
it matches the vibe, but it definitely get the job done. It was $3.99 and I just get a damp towel, not wet. You want it damp because I feel like if it's wet, it's going to damage the, um, the shelf. So I just wipe those down, dust all the bags and put everything, you know, where it goes. Now on this wall, so far I haven't had any issues with the wall, y'all. I'm absolutely still pleased, still love it, obsessed with it. Um, I would highly recommend if you're thinking about getting a exposed system like this, you will have to constantly clean it so it does not build up with dust. So I don't have any issues, nothing is chipping. Everything still looks pretty good. I have no complaints if we're being honest. This thing is probably the best thing I could have possibly done. So that's pretty much the update. Everything is also still in the same order because this is technically like it's a wardrobe wall, but it's like a closet for me. These are all the pieces that I took out of my closet to put on display. So for the most part, everything is still in the same space that you guys seen it last time. These pieces are still here because I'm constantly mixing and matching these. This is so easy for me to kind of like see like, okay, I know I want to wear this next, but every time I see it, I like, oh my God, I have to drop this off to be altered. I wore her out for Essence Girl. So these are pieces that I, like I said, want to wear. And I feel like if the Gucci skirt wasn't on this shelf here, well, rack, I would have never worn this for um, Essence because I would have probably forgotten about it. So this is still the system and I'm just cleaning up because today is a cleanup day. So everything can stay nice and fresh and clean. All right, y'all, so I have a quick home decor update. This is the bench I originally purchased from Ross. Now, in the store, I love this bench. It's like wooden. I like the details on the seat, nice and sturdy. And I like the little thing at the bottom. What I didn't like, once I got it home, I have too much room. And at the top, I put this, this mirror here. Absolutely love this mirror. I'm really into like circle mirrors. I just feel like I like the little vibe and a touch that it adds to the the situation now this mirror could have definitely went over a little child i went through hell if we're being honest <laughs> trying to put this mirror on this wall but also i got this mirror here to kind of like reflect the kitchen i just feel like when you do mirrors in certain areas it just like opens up the space so i added this mirror here most likely i'm going to push it over just a smidget but and i also feel like the bench, let me see, push back. The bench is not doing much for this situation. So, just left home goods and I got a, this bench. Now, I love this bench. First of all, I told y'all in this apartment, everything has to have like a use for something, some like storage or anything. I thought I would love this one, but I don't want any like shoes or anything down there. I just think it looks messy. So, I was walking through home goods, minding my business, and look what I got, girl. I love this. It was $150. Now, I also found this. I have no idea where I'm going to put it, but it's a butterfly, which I probably use as something. I don't know. But I actually went into Home Goods just for this. It's this tray with a butterfly on it. I thought it was so good. I originally got this um, tray, a tray from Target, but it didn't do anything for the counter. And I want this tray to sit here like this. Oh, I love it. Okay. This is so much better. Like, I love this one. The other one, it was just like a marble tray and it just matched too much with the countertop. I just feel like this just gives it a little more G. Oh, I love this. All right, but I'm about to switch this out. I don't have my tripod, so I'm gonna sit you guys here. I know it may look a little weird, but let's see. Cause if we, most likely I'm about to return home. If I like this brown bench. Most likely we're going to return. Ooh, I think I like it. I think I like it. Oh, I like it way better than the other one. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, I love it. It gives it just so much more like character. Look at the gold legs. I love this. And I can also just keep stuff in it because I just feel like certain things, it just look messy to me. I don't like wearing houses. Houses. I don't like wearing shoes in a house, so I have all of this stuff that I could possibly just sit up in here, close it so it doesn't look so messy. Oh my God, y'all, I love this, love this.
and this mirror is a 36 inch mirror. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to move her over because I'm not loving it. All right, girl, so this is the final look of this little nook when you first walk in. Now, for those of who ask, yes, the bench still has a tag on it because just like my clothes, girl, everything has a probation, okay? I may see something else I like. So that's why I usually do that. And I love it. I absolutely love it. It's it's very fitting for me. So, yep, it came out nice. I Most likely, if we've been honest, I'm going to keep the bench because I absolutely love the bench. It's like perfect. I, it may look like I have like a lot of room right here, but I have the same exact amount of room on the other side. So, yep, I love it. And right now, in the inside of it, I only have the blanket that I constantly use and my little yoga bag. So, yep. right here I can just go ahead and give you guys the update in this little corner so I was waiting for those glasses this little stand is from home goods it was $16 literally what I was looking for like soon as I had a thought I was like okay I need something like a uh, I can put glasses on as soon as I walk in the store girl I saw this literally picked it up and went to the line so got that there and when you come over here I drink tea a lot so I have this little setup this box like I said is from uh, Tuesday morning and I keep all of my different teas because I love a good tea and coffee so and this is my electric kettle which I cannot live without her girl I do everything with her um this is a sushi tray I wanted an elevation just to give it like a different dimension I didn't want all of this just sitting on the counter I just felt like it didn't give me the zhuzh that I wanted so I have these little coasters there and this flower also is from Home Goods. Now I have some lights from IKEA. They're gonna be coming in today. I'm gonna to probably do a montage and show you guys how they look in the in this video, but I'm gonna put lights at the top. I have this flower. She's touching, but when you're standing like this, you can't see it. I feel like the flower just gives it a little more pizzazz. I like it. First, I didn't like the fact that the vase was white, but once I stood, stood back, I was like, you know what? She's kind of growing on me. And this girl here. Now, I'm going to need y'all to comment down below. First of all, don't judge me. I did not know how to use this thing. I didn't know I had to do all that. Okay? Also, when I'm drinking this coffee, girl, I don't know. Maybe it's too strong, too much caffeine. But as soon as I finish drinking it, it makes me feel so sick. So if you have like a, if you know like a specialty pod or if you have some recommendations, please girl comment down below because we're not returning her. We need her, <laughs> but I just need to finesse. How should I deal with this girl? Cause I'd be sick. I'd be like, oh, I don't like the Nespresso pods. But, and I'm also right here. Since this is like wine glasses, I really want maybe two bottles of champagne to be here, but I don't want it to sit on the counter. But however, I don't want another high tray. We need something fabulous here to hold like maybe two bottles of very expensive off champagne, maybe like a bottle of Ace of Spades, something that I'm just like, we need to pop on a special occasion. Um, yeah, we need two. Oh, how dope would it be to have like a gold bottle of Ace and a pink bottle? <sighs> nice but yeah we're gonna figure that out i have not in this video you guys are not gonna see that because i don't want to rush to buy something to hold those bottles so we're gonna just kind of like browse around and when i see things i'll just come back and show you guys but for now this is going to be the update for this corner i actually like it and when the lights come because they should be delivered today you guys will see that girl look at this so the lights just came and it was so easy to put on. All you have to do is use this little magnet. It comes with these strips, adhesive strips. You put it on. Hold on, let me just show y'all. So this is the magnet and this is the adhesive strip that I just put on there. And you just kind of like measure it, see how you want it. I think for this one, 
maybe here is fine for me. Hold on. And then you put it up like that. And then they have also have a setting on here. So they have, I don't know if you can see this, they have off, on, and they have G. I guess G is for the on and off mode. Like when you walk by it, it comes on. So that's the mode that I have it on. And you just pop them up, girl, like that. Day. Today is actually Sunday. I'm actually going to be ending this vlog out today so you guys can see this vlog tomorrow. But before I end the vlog out, I literally just left home goods and I was like, girl, since we're over here talking about apartment updates, I um, might as well just show y'all this small home goods haul. But um, it's so crazy, y'all. I literally started um, when I was decorating. It was supposed to be like very neutral with accents of black, but as I like kind of like get a feel and a vibe of the apartment, I black little small accents of black is okay. I literally don't have that much black. I have a black face with pompous in it, and that's only because I had that at home in my room. And the new lamp that I got is black. Nothing else is black. <laughs> I'm realizing I like the hardware that I'm going for, the finishes is like brassy golds and stuff like that. I think it just looks a little more me in this space. But anyways, um, speaking of that, pompous. I thought I would just find like a lot of pompous and have pompous in different places. I'm quickly learning that pompous that I got from the fake pompous that I got from, where did I get that from? Amazon. I think that's, it's enough. I don't need any more pompous. I think with pompous, I get bored with it. I feel like I'm constantly seeing it. Maybe that's why I'm so bored with it. So that little pompous, I don't need no more. So I was looking for, um, y'all know, I said I want it right here. I wanted to do maybe two bottles of champagne. Cute little setup because I was gonna do a bar, but I don't have a bar situation. But for that little area, I found this. I love this. I think I'm gonna stick, oh, why do I hate when they put stickers on things. I think I'm gonna um, stick to the woods and brassy gold. I think it just looks a little more put together in the space. Yeah, I think, I think this is gonna be a little too small for the space, so maybe I underestimate it. Anyways, I got this little tray. Hopefully you can see it. It was $15 and I like it because it has the brass. Now, I thought it would be big enough. I think I underestimated it. And I've also been on the hunt for little small floor, floral arrangements that I can like put different places with different setups. Another thing, a tip. Me personally, I used to do this even when I was at home in my room. When you go to like home goods and you see things that you want and maybe right now you don't have a place for it, I still like to buy it because I have in my storage unit, I have a whole container full of home decor. Me personally, I believe in switching up your space constantly. Literally probably every month, I might switch things out just to like keep it fresh and just feel new to keep your space, you know, feeling like, oh, this is something new. So it doesn't always look the same. So I still buy things and just put it, even if I have no use for it now, I just put it in storage and then I just constantly switch things around. So I, since I moved here, I had this vision, in, this vision in my mind and I was like, dang, I need some little flowers that's perfect. It has like a little pompous, not too much, but it still give you floral arrangement and I need it to be fake because I ain't got time to be taking candle plants. I want to do a real plant, but girl, we're not doing that. So literally walking through home goods just now and I found this. I love this. It just so me and it also fits the vibe. Hopefully you can see it. Let me turn the camera down really quick so you can get the vibe. Okay. Do y'all see that? It's so cute. Maybe I turned it down too much. Hold up because I got the window open, so the light is kind of competing. It has a little bit of pompous. It's just, I don't know, I like it. 
Hopefully you can see it like that. It's in a clear little thing. It was $10 and I loved it so much I got four of them to put in different little spaces. Um, I have this little plant in the bathroom but I'm kind of like changing my mind about the bathroom. That's why I'm not showing y'all the bathroom yet because I'm changing my mind. But the idea that I had for this was sit it on this little tray. Matter of fact, hold on. So this was the idea that I had for this, but I didn't expect it to be that small. Only one bottle of wine or champagne will fit on it. So let's see if I have one in the fridge. Let's see, but it's gonna be the gold black girl magic wine. And I just thought it would be Oh, it's a little wobbly. Oh, whatever, we can fix that. I thought it would be super cute. I thought it would be cute, but I would like for it to be a little bigger. Hmm. That sucks because this is exactly what I was looking for. And I'm sitting here trying to think, did I see a bigger one? This was definitely the idea to kind of like tie in the drink bar, but uh, I'm not loving it. We're gonna play around with it, but I actually love the like the setup. I just wish this was a little larger. Hmm. All right, I also stopped to my grandma's house to get pillowcases because I did not feel like buying two pillowcases, and I just I know she has a lot of them. I got this little back sponge to go in the shower. Um. Ooh. This is the fun part. Now, in my space, I'm a person, I want it to be aesthetically pleasing, but it still has to have a certain energy. And I truly believe you create the vibe in your space. I believe in, I'm a cancer, so I go off like energies and mood, moods. Mood, lights, that's my thing. It is my thing. I like aromatherapy going, I like mood lights, I like, the lighting situation is big for me. I even told my therapist this. When it comes to lighting, it is very, very big to me. It alters my energy, my moods. When I'm a little sad, I like literally will put on like my mood light and like some lavender aromatherapy and it just really uplifts my energy. And since I moved, I haven't been doing aromatherapy. So I don't know if you guys can tell. Like I said, neutral is my, my vibe. I found this. Oh, you can't see it, I'm gonna just open it. I found this aroma therapy mm, diffuser. I don't know how to call it, but when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it's gonna go so perfect. I'm gonna put it on my TV console. It should come in tomorrow. I'm gonna put that together. Maybe you guys are gonna see that in the next apartment updates. If you guys wanna see another apartment update, comment down below and then we can do that. Girl, girl. So it is this little wicker aromatherapy lamp, which it literally goes with my vibe. Everything is wicker and wooden. You know, I told y'all, you guys, I'm going for like farmhouse chic mixed with a little modern. I thought this was perfect, 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 perfect. So I have this, and I'm going to sit it over there and have my aromatherapy going, which I can see it right here because I'm about to actually put it on. I also picked up some essential oils. My favorite is lavender. I love lavender. I also picked up these serving trays, which I can also use as um, trays to uh, do like home decor if I wanted to put stains on it. Uh, I could put the wine on here because this is a little larger, but I don't want to. But this could serve as home decor or whatever, but I'm gonna probably use these. These are actually serving trays. I feel like when I'm doing like girls night, I will put like maybe guacamole, like different like chips and kind of like literally using it as a serving tray because I'm going for farmhouse chic and I just feel like these are perfect for serving. Like maybe some chips and dip and just make it cute. So got two of these where well, they come to in a pack for $15. And I think that's all we got, girl. That's, oh no, we got a lamp. Y'all know I just told y'all about how I feel about mood lights. I saw this and I was like, oh, I wanna try it out. It is an iridescent sunset projection lamp. And it's a small projector and you can have like, you can project on a wall. I would only use this like at nighttime when I'm watching movies and stuff like that because I do have like the LED strip around the TV, which when I turn off all the lights, it's just such a vibe. So I thought if I, project this also on the wall or you could do it on the ceiling. 
I saw someone on TikTok have it on the ceiling. It looked like a galaxy. It is so pretty. So I kind of like wanted to give a movie theater vibe. You know, transform the girl. So I'm actually about to open this because I want to see how this works. I'm actually about to play all around with all of these things. So yeah, girl, that's pretty much all that I got from home goods. I believe I'm about, I'm about to, uh, yeah, we're about to close out this vlog. I don't have nothing else to show y'all. Anything else, I would just do another one of these videos. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead, like this video, comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see another apartment update. I feel like this is an easier way for me to give you guys updates, but still do it in a way that I'm not sh oversharing or making myself feel uncomfortable because yeah, I told you I'm not doing an apartment tour and I just don't want to overshare. Like this is my space. It's not just for content. So I want to, of course, share like the little updates, but we ain't sharing everything. So I just feel like when I do little glimpses of different things that I find and I like DIY projects, projects, I don't mind showing them in this way. So if you guys are interested in more updates, apartment updates, go ahead, comment down below, let me know because I have a few other, I'm, I'm nowhere near finished, but I have a lot of other updates that I want to do but I am proud because I've been here for a month and I would say I am 95% done decorating like everything is pretty much done I'm just like adding small things so that's amazing because when I first moved here a lot of the things that I wanted was from CB2 but a lot of the shipping dates I wouldn't get anything until like December and January and the end of the year and I'm just like oh no so if we've been on the show Target and Amazon home goods that's literally been my my three places that's the only three places that I have shopped of course like far-fetched for little luxury home decor pieces but other than that home goods Target and Amazon has literally furnished this place girl so I do not mind sharing little updates with you guys if you want to see them. And yeah, we're about to end out this vlog, girl, so I can start editing and also I'm about to listen to my playlist. Too. So I will see you girls in the next video. I hope you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Bye, girl.